welcome to a very special phone interview with Jesse from BB Can 6. Now, look, this is just a quick, short, little audio interview with Jesse that we do with him post eviction. So, if you guys don't know by now, make sure you tweet me at Reality Recaps over on Twitter using hashtag YRRLive with your questions for the evicted house guests each week right after they are evicted. Let's just say you have until midnight. So, these questions are going to be coming from people who tweeted me for Jesse. Now, of course, Jesse will be on the show next week live for one hour, so you can come back and ask him your questions there as well. Make sure you're just following us over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash you now. You can become a fan over there. It's completely free. Just click on the little fan button. You'll get notified whenever we go live over on you now. Of course, you can also watch our shows edited back after the fact at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbcan. Over there, you'll find all of our shows and blogs from past seasons. You can read Becca's spoiler blogs and recap blogs from this season. You can check out our spoiler graphic there. Don't worry, it's protected. You have to click on it before you can see the spoilers, but it's a great way to find out who's HOH and who's nominated early as well. Of course, you can see these phone interviews and all the rest of our content over there as well. Now look, if you guys want to help support our shows, consider becoming a patron over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. Patrons get access to the patron-only Facebook group, prize giveaways just for patrons, and after shows this BB Can season. After the house guest is on our show, then we will have them in our patron group as well for a little one-on-one -on -one time with you and the house guests. Of course, you can always do a one-time donation over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal as well. That is another great way to help support our shows and help us get to Canada so we can bring you the backyard interviews live, the finale podcast, parties live. Uh, just a lot of exclusive content that no one else is bringing you, but we can't do it without your financial support. So consider either of those options or for free, just sharing our shows on social media, commenting, make sure you are thumbs up and subscribed on YouTube. Leave a five star rating and a nice review on iTunes as well. We give away prizes for people that do that, by the way. So look, you guys know the deal. Let's find out what Jesse is thinking. Hey, Jesse. Hey, good. Yourself? I'm doing great. Now, Jesse, look, this is a phone interview, so people can't see you, but a lot of the ladies uh, requested specifically <laughs> that I ask you, are you wearing your glasses? Ah, I didn't know those would be such a big hit. Uh, I know I'm not currently wearing my glasses, but I can definitely start wearing them more. <laughs> All right, I'll fix it in post, Jesse. Um, do, do you think that uh, anyone was in Hamza's ear influencing his decision to nominate you and not pull you off the block? Or do you think it was his decision the whole time? Looking back on it, I think that Will is is definitely in his ear. Um, me and Derek really thought he was he was on the boys' side there, but after Hamza won the POV and Will was just mind blown that he was such a comp beast, I think he he flip flop sides earlier and probably had a little more influence than I initially thought. All right. Um, what was it like to be handcuffed to Paris for eight hours and then find out that she wanted to talk to Hamza alone without you in the HOH? Oh, that's interesting. Um, I think that uh, we wanted to talk to him separately mm -hmm. to look like we weren't in an alliance or as close as we were. So I don't think that was anything malicious on her part. That's just something we wanted to do to publicly you know, take any potential target offer back. Perfect. Uh, what was your biggest downfall, do you feel, going into that POV? Like, do you think you could have won it if you found the key faster or if you didn't maybe go for it at all? Um, I think from what I heard there, I didn't see Hamza chopping the block, but maybe if I just went in the same spot of the block, it would have, you know, broke faster or whatever. I mean, I can analyze it all day, but I really felt that I had to go for that key. Um, the key was really small. I didn't end up seeing it at all. But if I had found the key, it could have been a game changer. All right. I got some quick fire Literally. questions. <laughs> right. Exactly. I got some quick, quick fire questions for you. Okay. If Paris and Derek were both on the block, who would you have voted out? No. <laughs> 
That's tough. Uh, is Kayla still in the game? No. <laughs> Paris. Okay. Oh, good one. All right. If you would have won HOH, who would you have put on the block? Um, Olivia Alley. Oh, interesting. All right. And lastly, who are you hoping wins and who are you hoping follows you out the door next week? I hope that Derek wins, although extremely unlikely. And I hope that Will walks himself out of the house. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us, Jesse. We hope to hear more from you during the season. Hey, thanks for the questions, guys. Well, that about wraps up our phone interview with Jesse for this week. Don't forget, come back when he is live on our show. Make sure you become a fan over on You Now so you are alerted when that happens. YourRealityRecaps.com slash You Now. You can check back all of our content on our website at YourRealityRecaps.com slash BBCan. And of course, help get us to Canada. Help us live stream backyard interviews, the finale party by becoming a patron at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. You get exclusive content this season, access to the Facebook-only patron group, or you can make a one-time donation over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal. I'll see you guys all in the next show. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.